Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Su-100 M1. It's a Soviet Tier 7 tank destroyer, and this one's located on the eastbourne of Studzienski. And it's under the command of the base man from hell. Yes, he's at it again. Well, he's got a 100mm gun, capable of penetrating 175mm or 212 if it's got the top gun and alpha damage of 250. Oh it's based on the chassis of a T-3485, but the engine's at the front rather than at the back, and the crew compartment's at the back. As you can see, there's a pair of doors at the back to get out. Or is it? Oh no, it's a single door, not pair doors. But basically, uh, this design enabled them to use the engine as extra armour for the crew which meant there was less overall armour on the vehicle because, of course, they didn't have to cover the rear of the vehicle with much armour. Now, it can take damage from the uh, sides, but uh, if you angle just right, it's a very tough little uh, tank destroyer. Ooh. Now, that's the only problem when it comes to uh, this particular TD, RT. RT doesn't tend to do very well on it because the anti shells can land on the top armor, which is fairly weak, and or damage the sides. Okay, he's coming up to the church and looking through the bushes. Can they see anything? A black dog's got into the dip. Oh, there's a, a Lorraine, he gets a hit onto that straight away. The black dog is uh, moving up to try and spot from the dip. But the uh, base man's pulled back behind the church because obviously he was spotted the moment he damaged the 40 ton. Moving forward, he's unsighted now, but obviously he can't see the Lorraine as well. So he's fired a, a blind shot just to see if he can get him. Pulled across the gap. There's an ELC M90 a little further up. He's probably spotting for the RT. And he's just taken a pace thing. And he's gone down. Well, that means there won't be anybody spotting them from that direction. And of course, they're safe behind the uh, church at the moment. But the enemy's gone into the dip. A Lorraine 40T and a Brigetto 46. And that's a terribly bad move. Because they've now got... They're now facing five separate tanks. They're completely outnumbered. And everybody's piling in now to take them out. And the 40 tons gone down. Here's the Jetto. Nice round there. 384. High roll. Pulling back. Can he get another round in? Yes, he does. 245. It's a low roll, but it's work. it works. Uh, trying to go up that slope. He's just going to change direction. That's right. Easier to get up that way. Going around the houses. Got a bit of a traffic jam at the other house. Ooh, 45 TP out the head. Locks on. It's going to move up. Oh, puts a nice round in. That's a high roll. Is there a low roll? No, 216, but takes a round from the 45 TP. But takes him out. That was his first kill. Can he get another? Well, 5-3 at the moment, so they're two up. They're doing very well around this side of the map, actually. They've managed to conquer most of the village. The enemy's retreating. There's an AMX 1375. And we know there's RT on the enemy team. There's a GW Panther and an M12. And Baseman's see, trying to see if he can get shots on an Oni. In fact, there's three Onis on the enemy team. And they're all in platoon as well. So it looks like it's an R2, uh, uh, an Oni party. And there's a Patriot there. And he's been spotted. The big worry, of course, is if he... Uh, get spotted he might get hit by arty he doesn't really want to get hit by arty he's bouncing rounds from that 1375 just can't get through the armor you see as i said the armor's all at the front basically 
You just don't want to get hit on the sides. Yep. Goes for a shot on the T28 prototype. Gets a nice hit, 264. That's a high roll. And the T28 gets hit by Arty as well. Now, can he do something about those own knees in the centre? Well, he's got the house for protection. He's dialing in. He's also aimed onto the Oni. Gets a hit. 279. That's a high roll. Going for the lower play to the other Oni. Oh, yes. Gets him out of the game. That's his second kill. Oni's go sideways. Fires around in. Yes, it goes through. 219. Low roll. But uh, he's now covered by his teammate. Who takes the hit for him. 241. That's a low roll. And the Amex 1375 is coming this way. Okay, auto aim on. And yeah, puts a nice round into him. He won't last long. If he stays where he is. Yep. Oh, nice hit. He's only 36 hit points. It's one shot. Yep, he's gone. And the Patriot is now taking a pasting. Oh, and that was arty. That was Arty, I'm afraid. The Arty started a fire, and even though the initial hit, 342 hit points, was enough to kill him, the fire was, and he's out the game. That's the big problem with having your engine up front. You're more than likely to get an engine fire. Um, and he says in chat, you are what you eat. Well, yeah, and he said, and he eats pussy. Well... <laughs> He didn't really eat pussy. I mean, the fact is, he actually did a huge amount of damage. 2,932 hit points of damage, to be specific. And it looks like they've won the battle, because they've won the factory. Yep, the last enemy, which is an Oni, has gone down. There's only these guys here. There's only two left, the, the Patriot and an RT, which is the GW Panther. And they won't last very long. The Patriots are one shot now. And there's the GW Panther. Oh, 45 TP, missed that shot. Yep, he's gone now. That was the T26E4, the Super Pershing. And so, yep, the Patriot's gone. And he was finally taken out by the GW Panther on our team. So it's a win. So, let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. Well, it was the second class tanker for the base man from hell in the SU-100 M1. He also managed to pick up a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. And he got a confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else. At least six tanks subsequently taken down by others. And a win eight for that battle was 5579. Now he says, I suck. Well, I don't think you did. Because you actually did very well during that battle. If I look at the team tables, you can see you actually did the highest damage in the battle of all the players. It wasn't enough to get the high caliber. You did 2,932 hit points of damage, so it was probably under 20% of the overall um, total. But it was still a considerable amount. The next highest scorer was 45 TP with 2,042. And then we've got the enemy Patriot, which actually did 1,727. When it came to kills, it was the Super Pershing who managed to get the highest man. He got four, then came Base Man with two, and there's a whole bunch of other tanks also with two kills. And when it came to Base XP, it was the Base Man who managed to get the most. 948 Base XP. Uh, next highest score was 45 TP with 939, and the Super Pershing with 834. So let's have a look at detail. Well, he fired 17 shots during that battle and got 14 direct hits and 13 penetrations. That 100mm gun is actually quite good. He only got a couple of um, uh, shots that went astray and one ricochet out of that. Um, but uh, damage of 2,932 hit points, that proves that it's actually quite good. And 786 hit points of that was done at more than 300 meters. Those are the shots across at the factory. He blocked damage of 645 hit points. He uh, received six hits, two penetrations, four non-penetrations. Now, um, and two splash as well. The splash was obviously what killed him in the end because obviously he was hit by Artie. But you can see that non-penetrations four. This, this tank is basically all about putting a huge amount of metal in front of the crew to protect the crew from whatever happens. And unfortunately, in this case, the, the RT round set off the fire in the engine and that uh, killed the tank. But uh, you can see it's actually quite effective having the, uh, uh, the engine up front. He 
Um, managed to spot one enemy vehicle, damaged nine in the enemy, killed two, so there's a seven difference there, that's why we've got the Confederate, and he also caused damage assistance of 34 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 38,255 credits, and after ammunition resupply and con uh, repair, he actually had 27,401 credits to take away. He got one bond for the Confederate, 1,422 XP for the battle, uh, no multipliers, so that's all the experience points he took away. Um, so, no, you definitely don't suck there, base man. You actually are quite good, and the fact is you ended up doing the most damage for your team, and in fact the most damage in the battle overall. And it's nice that you got the Confederate, even if you didn't pick up the high calibre. So, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.